The Bob Renegade is the very first wagon released from Bob Gear. This is the first three seat wagon I've ever seen and each seat can hold up to 55 pounds. They also have a very unique design for folding and unfolding that I will show you later on in the video. If you're the kind of person that likes to see the instruction manual before you're getting things together or earlier on in the process, just know that my instruction manual was inside the wagon itself, so it's not gonna be one of the first things that you unpack. Apart for the course with Bob Gear, everything was very well packaged and protected. Something that was very different about this assembly process that I noticed was that you do need to install the brake and the brake wire, I guess, yourself, which is intimidating at first, but actually quite easy, especially when you have a visual step-by-step -step like I'm going to give you right now. Do take care when removing these pieces though from the boxes because you don't want to damage any of those wires with scissors or something like that. After everything is unpackaged, we move on to mud guards. You can see there's a little R right here that designates this as the mud guard for the right tire. There's also a little R on the frame, making it very easy to see where to install. You put it in the correct place and slide it on. Once you've done both of those, we're gonna move on to the brake. When installing this axle piece, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that these wires are facing in toward the rest of the wagon so that you can go ahead and install that properly. So you're gonna slide these onto the mount here with the wire facing the front of the wagon. Push down on these firmly and you will see a silver little peg pop out on each one. That'll let you know that it is installed correctly. Next, we're going to install the brake. You can see here, there are actually three pieces we want to align. There's the bottom piece right there. That one I didn't realize at first, but get all three slots on this brake lined up and it'll be on in a jiffy. From here, we have the very simple task of pushing these wire pieces for the brake into their little holders on the frame. These plastic clips will keep them safely tucked away on the underside of your wagon. This part is so quick and easy, you can do it one-handed, as you can see here. Next, we're gonna move on to the big back tires. They are also very easy to put on. You can see the peg right there, and it slides right into this slot that is on the frame. Make sure that the pegs are clear of any packaging scraps, and it's so easy to put on, you can do both of them at the same time. Likewise, the smaller front tires are also very simple to pop on. There is a peg and you simply slide that into the attachment on the frame. There is no left or right designation. You can put either one on either side. Once we have the tires installed, we then move on to the footwell. The footwell does have a few more steps for installation, but I'm gonna give you a very clear demo here so you know exactly what to do. There are four metal attachments that click directly onto the frame here on the underside of the Renegade. Similar to the axle piece that we put on, there are silver pegs that will pop out when you have installed it correctly, so that gives you some peace of mind knowing that it is on there secure. As far as footwell installation goes, this is the easier part. The next part is going to be zipping on the fabric, and it's on all four sides, and that was a little trickier, so I'm gonna show you my technique here. You want the, your left hand to be on the bottom and your right hand to be on the top. That's gonna to give you the most access to the zipper, especially on the top part because it is a little bit in a fold here on the fabric, which can make it a little bit tricky to slide securely into the other part of the zipper. If you're right hand dominant like I am and you try and use that on the bottom side of the zipper, you're gonna have a hard time, probably, unless you're much better at this than I am. So I just highly recommend starting off with this technique from the beginning and have smooth sailing from the get-go. I tell you, after I figured this technique out, putting the zippers on was 10 times easier. Now we flip the wagon over and get to the real fun. This was my first chance to try out the Safe Assist unfolding technology, and I've never seen this on another wagon, so I was really excited to give it a go. When you push down with your foot, the seat just pops up and you get this weird sense of accomplishment like you did something, but it was all Bob. Testing out this handlebar, I was pretty impressed to find that it doesn't just drop to the ground when you let it go. That's a pretty cool feature. Also included with your purchase are two cup holders. I'll show you how they attach here. Very simple and straightforward. There are two attachment points on either side of this handlebar here, as you can see, and they kind of rotate a little bit if you need them to. Pretty nifty. I'll report back on how those perform. Moving on to canopy installation. These are some of the easiest to install canopies I have ever seen. One is skinnier than the other, and this designates which side of the wagon they go on. There is one plastic attachment point on either side of the canopy that slides right into place on the seat back itself. All I had to do was click it into place, smooth down the back there, that little flap, and I was good to go. The other nice thing about these canopies is that you don't have to remove them to fold the wagon, which I'll show you in just a little bit. Now you're just gonna pop that other canopy on, 
You can fully extend it, see what kind of coverage it's got, and you are good to go. Good job putting this thing together. You are rocking it. Now is the time to give the snack tray a try. You can see here that there are two compartments on one of the sides that tells you that it goes over the two-seater half of the wagon. The tray clicks right into place as long as you position it in the correct way, and then it comes right off with those yellow tabs on the sides. You can also use the snack tray on the back of the Bob Renegade, which is also another very unique feature to this wagon. You can store extra cups away from little hands or simply have a place to put the snack tray when not in use for your kids. The brake is easy to find right there underneath that safe assist pedal. You use your foot to push down or push up to engage or disengage the brake. For a quick look at the harnesses, you can see them here. This is the two-seater side of the wagon. And we noticed that these harnesses are very easy to adjust either way, whether you're loosening or tightening. There are also built-in storage pockets along the inside of the Renegade for your kids. If your kids are anything like mine, they are collecting sticks and rocks along the way and they need somewhere to put them. Here you have a quick look at the single seat on the Renegade and the mesh built-in pockets on the other side. This is a good visual for you of the folding mechanism on the back of the seats, but this is also a demonstration of how not to fold the Bob Renegade because you want the seats to fold the other way. You want that seat that's closest to the handlebar to fold first. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the reason why right now. You can see here, I'm gonna pop that handlebar up and then try and engage the safe assist. It is not gonna work because I put the seats down in the wrong order. You want that seat to go first and then you want the two seat side of it to go down second. If you do it in the wrong order, that second seat is not going to pop up with that safe assist pedal, and that's just a waste of innovative design. Now I'm going to give you a look at what it looks like when you properly unfold the Bob Renegade. The seat flips right up, I make sure that the seats are clicked firmly into place, and I am ready to stroll. We are so looking forward to reviewing this and giving you the ins and outs of the user experience. Thank you so much to Bob Gear for sending us the Renegade for review. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and we'll get back to you ASAP. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.